Hello and welcome to our English lesson. This is a lesson for grade 7 and our topic today is Interesting places around the world. I'm Alenka Taslak and I will be your teacher today. For this lesson you need a pencil, a notebook, a tablet or a laptop or a mobile phone and a good internet connection. By the end of this lesson, you will show the understanding of a text about interesting places in the world. You will be able to compare the system of measurement used in Croatia with the one used in the English-speaking countries. And you will be able to use the superlative forms of adjectives when writing a short text about an interesting place according to specific guidelines. Some of the most interesting places around the world can be the cheapest places. When we use the superlative forms of adjectives, we should add the in front of an adjective and the ending est. Some of the places can be the coldest places or the sunniest places. If an adjective ends in y, like sunny, we should change this letter y to the letter i. Some of the most interesting places can be the nicest places. If an adjective ends in E, like nice, there's no need for two letters E. So in this case, we only add the letters ST. Some of the places can be the hottest places or the wettest places. So if an adjective is short and if there is a letter A, E, I, O, or U in the middle, we should double the last letter, like the hottest places and the wettest places. Some places are the most expensive ones. Expensive is a long adjective. Long means that there are two or more syllables in this word. Expensive. There are three syllables in the word expensive. So we just add the most in front of this adjective. Some of the places are the best places. The best is irregular adjective. Irregular means that there are no rules. So this is an exception to the rule. Exception means you have to learn it by heart. In order to revise the superlative forms of adjectives, copy the following link into your web browser or just scan the QR code. Superlative forms of adjectives appear and you have to click the blue or red button. It all depends on whether the superlative form is written correctly or not. It's always good to be familiar with different symbols when we speak about different places around the world. Have you seen this one? Do you know what it means? It means degrees Fahrenheit. And this one? It means degrees Celsius. When I was young, we had such thermometers. There were degrees Celsius on the left side and there were degrees Fahrenheit on the right side. One degree Fahrenheit equals minus 17.2 degrees Celsius. People in America use Fahrenheit and people in Croatia use Celsius, of course. Uh, if you travel to America, if you read their newspapers, or listen to their news, uh, you can easily come across this piece of information. Uh, in that case, it's good to know that. What about this one? It is inch. There is the same word for inch and thumb in Croatian. Palace. One inch equals 2.54 centimeters. And this one? 1 ft, it is foot. 1 foot equals 30.48 centimeters. When you read about some interesting places around the world, you can read about average annual rainfall. What is an average annual rainfall? It is a typical quantity of rainfall in a certain area. The highest rainfall means that it is not typical. It is more than the average or it is above the average. Annually or monthly. Annually means in one year, monthly means in a month. 
If you copy the following link into your web browser or scan the QR code, you will be directed to UNESCO's World Heritage Site. There is a list of many interesting and beautiful places there. Croatia is also there, with its uh, eight cultural sites. Why cultural? Because there is a yellow symbol next to the name. And two natural sites, because uh, there is a green circle next to the name. Riječ je o UNESCO-vom popisu svjetske baštine koja se dijeli na kulturnu i prirodnu baštinu. Now copy the following link into your web browser or scan the QR code to match the following definitions to the appropriate descriptions. Here are the answers. State parks are areas established by a state to preserve a certain place because of its natural beauty, historic interest, or recreational potential. A national park is an area marked by a national government to preserve the natural environment. A UNESCO World Heritage Site is an area or a landmark selected by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization for its cultural, historical, scientific or other significance. State parks are marked by a state, national parks by a whole nation, and UNESCO World Heritage Site by the biggest organization. When we speak about all the beautiful things in our world, we can mention waterfalls. A waterfall has its top and its base. Its unsurpassed beauty is breathtaking. Njegova nenadmašna glipota obisima drah. This waterfall is surrounded by dense jungle. Dense means that there are many trees and bushes so close to each other. There are many picturesque villages around the world, with friendly residents. Residents are the people who live there. Some of the villages have old city walls with wall ornaments. Ornament is basically just decoration. People say that such villages are the pearls and the jewels of their country. Some places are famous for its beautiful coral reefs. Some places are permanently frozen. Permanently means always, not just currently, not just now. We shouldn't forget immense mausoleum or white marble. Ne smijemo zaboraviti ogroman mausolej pod bijelog mramora. Immense means very big, huge, giant, vast. It all means the same. Now copy the following link into your web browser or scan the QR code to match the expressions that somehow go together. Here are the answers. Average annual rainfall and the highest rainfall monthly refer to the quantity of rainfall. Permanently and currently are the opposites. Immense and huge mean the same. Degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius refer to temperatures. Inch and foot refer to the system of measurement. Now copy the following link into your web browser or just scan the QR code in order to match the pictures to the words you can hear. Now you will read a text about some interesting places around the world. While reading, pay attention to the following. When were the Rainbow Mountains named a UNESCO World Heritage Site? What is Angel Falls? How high and how wide is it? Where is Antelope Canyon located? What is the village of Aaron Kell like? What kind of a region is Mausin Run in India? What is the Great Barrier Reef famous for? How many islands are there? Where is the coldest inhabited place on Earth located? How low are the temperatures there? What immense mausoleum was the winner of the new Seven Wonders of the World? What is the most recognizable symbol of China? 
Now copy the following link in your web browser or scan the QR code. It will direct you to a page uh, where you have to read the text. It is actually a video with subtitles, but the video will be automatically paused at a place uh, where you have to answer a question. Good luck with your task. Here are the answers. The Rainbow Mountains was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2009. Angel Falls is the highest waterfall in the world. It is 3,212 feet high, it is 970 meters, and it is 500 feet wide, it is 152 meters. Antelope Canyon is located in northern Arizona, the USA of course. The village of Arankel is picturesque. Mausin Ram in India is one of the world's wettest regions. The Great Barrier Reef is famous for its coral reef. There are over 900 islands there. The coldest inhabited place on Earth is located in Russia. It is minus 96 degrees Fahrenheit at air. It is minus 71 degrees Celsius. Taj Mahal was the winner of the new Seven Wonders of the World. The Great Wall of China is the most recognizable symbol of China. Now it's time for your homework. You should write some interesting facts about a place you have visited. Write 70 to 80 words. Write the name of the place. Write where it is located, region and country. What is the average temperature there? Why is this place so interesting for you? Is it popular with tourists? What can you see there? Don't forget to use superlative forms of adjectives. How do you feel about today's lesson? Are you happy, sad, or somewhere in between? Ask of the following statements. I can compare the Croatian and the English system of measurement. I can understand a short written text about interesting places in the world. I can write a short text about an interesting place I have visited. I can use superlative forms of adjectives, temperature vocabulary, and vocabulary expressing location. That would be all for today. Bye-bye.